Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of Lick of the Day with Ray. Today we are going to go on to part two of Wild Horses where we're going to focus today on uh, the G major scale and improvisation within the G major scale and I'm going to show you three different uh, licks that you can do within the context of the song. And then on our next installment of this song, we'll kind of put things together for the solo of the song and work on that. But today's focus is mostly improvisation, building your improvisational skills and using your ear. Improvisation is one of the most fun things to do on any instrument, okay, including the ukulele. So let's review uh, what we were going through last time. I showed you in uh, the open position, the G major scale. So obviously I'm playing uh, with the low G and the low G, the G is your, even the high G is your uh, fourth string on your ukulele. So I'm using a low G for this so I can get lower notes onto, especially when I'm trying to recreate guitar work. Okay, so one more time, we're going through the open low G and first finger on the second fret of the last string, fourth fret ring finger on the last string. So in fingers, open first, third, open first, third, one, two. Okay, and in um, frets, Open, two, four, open, two, four, oh, sorry, open, two, four, open, two, four, and then two, three. So that's your first uh, G major scale, and we're going to connect that to the second G major scale, and we're going to keep that middle finger on the third fret second string. And this time we're going to go to the fingers of the second finger to pinky on the fifth fret. Then our first finger, index finger, on the second fret of the first string. And then we're going to move to the third fret with our second finger. So as we continue on with that, with that octave of the G major scale. So that's going to be, as far as frets go, three, five on the second string, two, three on the first string, then to five. Okay, as far as fingers go, two, four, one, two, four, and then we're going to continue on. Then we slide all the way up to the seventh fret. And I can't stress enough, friends, uh, use, make sure that these dots, the side dots on your ukulele and on the front become your friend when you're doing soloing. Because you can look down and a lot of times we play in a box formation on the ukulele. And if you look right down, okay, and you see those dots, especially when you see between three and five and seven, or five and seven, those are going to help you out tremendously when you're soloing and you're improvising. Okay, so back to that second octave scale. Okay. Seven, fifth fret, move up to the seventh. I'm going to slide all the way to my index finger and go up to there. Okay. A third G major scale we're going to go over today, which is the same octave as what we just played, but it's in a more of a box position. Starting on our third string of the seventh fret, we're going to go from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. And we're going to use first, third finger, and we're going to do that again. Then on the next part, we're going to go first, third, first, second. So that is seven, nine, seven, eight. And then we're going to go with our pinky 
to the tenth, then back on the on to the first string, continuing on to the first string, seventh fret, and then the ninth fret to the tenth fret. Okay, so I'll go through that again. It's a little tricky there. So as far as frets go, seven, nine, seven, eight. Sorry, scratch that. Seven, nine, seven, eight, ten, seven, nine, ten. As far as fingers go, one, three, one, two, th four, one, one, sorry, three, four. Okay? Now, one other thing I want to leave you with. You can, if you would go to another octave after that, starting here, you're going to run out of notes on the ukulele. But you can use these pitches. And this is at the 10th to 12th to 14th fret. I'm adding a couple more notes on the first string. And you also can... You can go onto the second string with some notes there, but we'll go to that a little bit later. So basically what I'm, the point I'm trying to get to you is if you're up here soloing... you have those extra notes. Now you also have extra notes as far as if you would play a G major scale with just uh, the last two strings. So remember we played that open 2, 4 and then we would go to the 5 and then 7 and then the ninth fret and then the sixth to seventh. We have a couple X, we have a scale there. Now what's nice is if you're soloing within here, you can also add these two notes on the low G string into that scale, and you could also add onto the tenth and twelfth fret, you can add you can add those two notes into this little box scale here. So this little box here goes from the 7th fret to the 12th fret. And you can just play around. And a bend's always nice to throw into there. Okay. <coughs> so... Let's try now, let's try going through, I'm going to put on the, uh, the accompaniment that I created on the looper for this, and I'm going to just improvise a little bit, and then I'm going to let an open spot for you to improvise along with the background there, and we're just going to go through the different places that we have the scale, the G major scale there. So this open position, this second octave up here, and then up in this position at the 7th to 12th fret. And adding those additional notes in there as well. And then I'll do some uh, playing and then I'll let you have a chance to play along with it and check it out. Here we go. So I'm just making this up as I'm going on. to the middle position. The lower notes, the additional added to that scale. Move up to the high ones. Now you try it. down the lower scales here.
Try up to the seventh to twelfth fret one. doing great. Keep it up. Use your ear. Be creative. That's it. Nice. Now the last thing I want to leave you with today is a few cool little licks that you can uh, practice uh, before and next time on this particular song. And one of them is, we're going to do a little nice bluesy, country bluesy uh, bend here. And the first uh, variation of this we're going to do is going to be, we're going to uh, use our first, second, and third fingers and we're going to line them up between the third and fifth fret. And what you're going to do is, you're going to bend up, and when I bend there, what I'm doing is I'm trying to achieve an whole step up higher. Hear that pitch there? I'm trying with, that's on fretted, the second note on the seventh fret. I'm trying to bend from the fifth fret up to that pitch. Okay? Now when you bend, it, it, it takes some time to get used to bends, but basically your wrist, uses the, the strength from your wrist and you've got to have these three fingers together giving you strength together. You can't just bend with one finger. It will never happen. These two fingers have to be right next to that to give you that extra oomph to bend the string. So the first lick we're going to do is simply a bending. We're on the second string, the fifth fret, and we're going to bend Okay, so bend, come back down, hit the third fret, second string, and then slide that down to the second fret, second string. And that's our whole lick. Pretty cool, huh? So get those three fingers, bend up to a whole step, and you can test yourself. That's the pitch you're trying to go for. And then we slide that down. Okay? Really cool lick to go with it. Then the next thing we're going to do a little bit of a variation, a little bit more difficult variation on that, where we're going to bend, same thing on the seventh fret, second string. But this time we're going to add our pinky on the fifth fret as well, but the first string. And get that sound. Bend, and then pluck that first string and then continue with the bend that you did before so the first one is that version then the bend and the added note okay pretty cool there so those two one more time at the seventh to fifth to oh, sorry fifth to third fret bending and sliding up on the second fret second string the variation of that and notice when I go so you can kind of practice that to get used to that the bend and then you can add to that okay so, two little licks there that you can throw in to um, the song as well to practice along with the improvising, okay? So, I hope you found this helpful, and, and next time we will tackle the solo of the song and a couple other licks there. But I um, hope this helps, and everyone stay safe, stay healthy, you, you gone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.